now doing a group by on a data frame creates a data frame group by object this is actually an iterable object which means you can iterate through it using a for loop so when is this useful if you want to do further customized operations more complex operations and you are not very clear what sort of a function whether you need to use an act function or an apply function you are not clear on what sort of a function to use to do this operation you can simply write a for loop on top of this object and do whatever sort of customization that you want to do let me state a simple example for example you want to compute the mean fare for every class in the same titanic data frame for every class over here you want to compute the mean fare but while computing it you want to exclude all the zero fares for male passengers in the second class this is a small customization to the logic right now you can do this logic using the apply function itself do a group by and then do you use apply and then compute this logic right but then to write that apply function you need to do a little bit more thinking on how that will work right instead of going that route if you want to keep it simple you can directly write a for loop so first what i'm doing here is i'm importing np and pandas importing the data set doing a group by on p class if you look at the type of this particular object it is a data frame group by object this is what i mentioned over here now on top of this object what i'm going to do is iterate through this object this is the data frame group by object iterate it when you are iterating it will give you the name of that group which is the value of the p class so here i'm printing it out basically group name equal to name this value and the first two rows of this group that also i'm printing so for p class 1 these are the two rows likewise group 2 these are the first two rows and so on while doing this while iterating through this when you encounter group 2 that is p class 2 and you make a check over there is the sex equal to male and if the fare equal to zero you want to exclude those items that is the custom logic so that is the logic i have written here here i am checking name equal to 2 right second class and if male equal to sex and fare equal to zero we want to exclude them take the fare for all the remaining rows and compute the mean this is the logic right and this is a way how you can implement this logic this simply gives you more control on your grouping logic whatever it is let's do a mini challenge for this to get some practice the challenge is on top of the titanic data frame you need to import it from dataset/titanic.csv on top of it group it based on p class iterate through each group and extract the names of the top 3 female passengers who paid the highest fare you don't need to actually solve this or work it out if you want to do it perfectly fine but think about how you would approach this right and here's the solution group by print out the name of the group sort it first include the rows that you want to include that is we are filtering out all the females get the top 3 with this you should be very clear with how grouping and iterating with grouping works